it's not time for a few more different shaped, different style bodies in our shop windows? I totally agree on that point, but mm -hmm. I think this is a cynical campaign. Obviously, a lot of shouting about lingerie at this time of year. Everyone wants sexy lingerie for Valentine's Day. And I think, unfortunately for Monroe, they are using her and the transgender issue to promote their lingerie. Right. I, I think it's cynical. I think fashion is about selling, and I think they're using this as a gimmick, unfortunately. Monroe, do you feel used? I definitely don't feel used. I think that um, we need to think about how brands are selling lingerie mm. because, you know, of course they're going to sell lingerie because they're a lingerie company and that's what their job is, but it's about how they sell lingerie. I think you are so gorgeous and you've got long blonde hair, well, you've got fantastic figure. that's open to, you know, interpretation, isn't it, really? I mean, we're not just speaking about the aesthetic, we're speaking about women's journeys and speaking about what they represent in a wider sense because, you know, you okay. can't just look at a woman and say, oh, that's a pretty woman, she's got but nothing. That's, that's a different issue, isn't it? When people know your backstory, that fills in a lot of context. I speak but about, if I, speak but about if I don't about... know, I, and of course I know you yeah. well and your story, but if I saw a picture of you in that lingerie in a shop window, I would simply see another beautiful woman selling me lingerie and want to go and buy it for that reason. Mm. Whereas... That's fair enough, though, but if we look throughout history um, and the way that men used to look at women mm. and just look at a woman as, oh, that's just a woman, she's got absolutely nothing to contribute, she's got nothing to speak about, she's got nothing to say and, you know, this, I, I'm speaking about my experience mm. um, all the way from, mm. you know, before I transitioned and my sexuality, how I view the fashion industry mm. and a lot of the work that I do isn't about the way that I look. That's, mm. you know, that's mm. my personal thing. OK, but... well, that's, well, that's an interesting point isn't it that it, one of Munro's points is that it's not just a disembodied body selling an item of a sexy item of but clothing it is. actually it's saying that women are but more it's than not that. Susanna we are talking about the fashion industry here their job as as with magazines and newspapers is to sell that product mm. and as you say Munro is gorgeous she she absolutely looks stunning and and that is what's selling this product you so say you look at Munro you don't automatically think different model mm. transgender mm -hmm. you don't think that and uh, diversity is, as I say, being used as a gimmick to sell this product. Can, I just, can I just interject that there's also other women that are being used mm. in this, not used, Give us but the... are being featured in this Yes, uh, there are. In this campaign. What sorts of women? Uh, women with burn scars, um, plus-size women, um, tattooed women. Mm. But this isn't about a life experience, it's about selling knickers. And well, it's, it's not really, because if is, you think about who's it buying it's the knickers, no, it's about women's relationships with their bodies, and when you're wearing lingerie, it's an act, I feel, of self-empowerment. Dawn. It's feeling good about Dawn, yourself. Regardless of whether you feel like it's that gimmicky, at yeah. some point this needs to start, doesn't it? And until, maybe it might be a gimmicky uh, campaign, it may be about selling uh, underwear, but actually if it starts now, then surely in but five, ten years it, time, no, it won't be a gimmick it's because not actually they'll realise that it's worked it's with this campaign if and they should do it more working. If we're talking about diversity in the fashion industry, Naomi Campbell first walked the catwalk for Prada 20 years ago. Mm. We're not changing. Well, Nothing is happening. I think we need to also look at, you know, the fact that the Italian fashion industry is very different to the British fashion industry, mm. different to the American fashion industry. And the way that the British fashion industry is going is very different to, say, the rest of Europe, the which pictures, still has a way to go. The pictures that I've seen, Munro, all of the women are a certain size. Mm. And when you talk about diversity, shouldn't there be we've, diversity we've got, in got, the got, size got, of women as well? Got variety in size in the campaign as well. The other models on there, okay, the differently abled models, the one with the tattoos, one with the burn scars, there's one little picture at the bottom, you click through and you go to Instagram, they're not even on the main website. Mm. If they really believed, if fashion really believed in diversity, which it should, I think is a point, it should, they shouldn't be doing it this way. They I should. Think, this no, is I think you need to look, I think you need to look at how Blue Bella is as a company. Blue Bella champions women in all of their guises. So why aren't they using <laughs> proper models all the way through then? Why aren't they using diverse women? Why are they using the skinny size eight mm. stereotypical model all because the way through we, on the website? I think you're sh the show because those women still matter as well. I think that we yeah, because they sell product more. And that's what this is about. Well, perhaps Maru should go back and tell the company put. Our photographs there to sell well, they the are, underwear. They are. You know, I'm at the front of the website. Mm. I'm fronting I this campaign. I clicked on your lingerie because I thought you looked stunning in it, and I went straight straight through to a size eight, twenty year old. Mm. We want more pictures of Munro in the more in the lingerie. Okay, <laughs> the, 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 other women. Yeah, uh, the other ladies as well. Um, absolutely. Thanks very much indeed. Good to well, see you both this morning, Munro and Dawn. Thank you.